Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where we talk about Unreal right here on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button if you want to know more tricks and tips to help you in your renders. So today we're going to be talking about how to fix the broken first frame in Sequencer and the movie Render Queue. Now anyone who's ever used Movie Render Queue or Sequencer knows that your first frame is very often completely broken, the camera is in a completely different location, and the second frame is fine. So this is a problem that I've had, you know, even five years ago when Sequencer first came out, this is not a new issue. Until now, the workaround has just been adding a five frame buffer at the start at, and at the end of your shot, and this is called handles, okay? So handles are a good thing to use anyway, it's good practice, but you still want that first frame to be somewhat usable, right? Now I've gotten a ton of questions about how to fix that broken first frame, and fortunately it is a stupidly easy fix, so let's get started. Okay, so I have this force scene here, I've got my sequencer set up with a camera, just a very simple panning camera, nothing special. Uh, my shot starting at frame zero, so you can see my camera cut here is also set up correctly. So we're going to go ahead and render this. So I'll be using the movie render queue, but keep in mind this fix, this solution to the problem works for both sequencer and movie render queue, so it doesn't matter. So first off, I'm just going to show you what the issue is. So let's hit render local and you'll see right that first frame, it's just a totally irrelevant thing. The camera's in a totally different position. So hit render local and look right here. See, did you see that first frame real quick? Uh, the camera went totally off in a different place. Let's take a look at how that first frame looks. Now let's take a look at frame zero right here, okay? You'll see it's a total, it's like it's half correct and half not correct. So the next frame, frame one, is fine, and so on. It goes on, it's great, it looks fine. It's the first frame that is bad, and the workaround so far had just been to render with handles, so five frames before your first frame and five frames after, right? So you kind of get rid of this problem. This problem kind of moot. But, you, sometimes you still just want your first frame to be correct. You just want it to work, right? So the solution to that problem is the following. So we're going to zoom in here on our camera cut track. Select your camera cut track until and move that over by one frame, okay? So that it sticks out past your actual in frame. So see the green line here? This is your in and you don't need to do anything else. It's just that. And let's hit render and see how that looks. And hey, no weirdness. So let's go take a look at frame zero again, just to make sure. And there you have it. Frame zero is correct. Frame one is correct. Frame two. So it's really simple as that. Now, now, you may be thinking, well, William, that's because you're starting at frame zero. Uh, not quite. Okay, so let's do a test right here. And I'm going to move my in, so my starting frame, to frame 10, okay? I gotta make this back to set it back up correctly. And okay, so now my first frame is actually frame 10. Let's hit render local and see what happens. Ah, did you see that again? The issue arrives again. Let's go take a look at now frame 10 and see how that looks. And you'll see, this is frame 10, looking right up here. And you see, you still get that weirdness. So it has nothing to do with the fact that your frame started at frame zero, or whether your frame starts at a frame 100, okay? You're gonna get this issue regardless. The only way to fix this is to make sure that your camera cut track is one frame before your actual starting frame, okay? So just to do that one more time for you guys, grab your camera cut here up top on your sequencer, move that over one frame, and let's hit render local again. And there you go. You can kind of right away you see that we didn't have that weird glitch in the first frame. Let's stop this. Go see frame 10 again. And here we go. Looking up here, this is frame 10, and everything is as it should be. Yeah, the solution was that dumb. I've been having this issue for years and years, and I'm only now figuring out like, oh, this is how you fix it. I hear, I, I'm not gonna lie, a part of me was hoping that it would be a very elegant, clever solution, like, oh, no wonder I didn't think about that. But no, it's literally just a, a slider. Um, yeah. So please leave a comment down below if you also didn't know about this, because honestly, I feel a little bit dumb for not knowing about it. So, uh, yeah. So guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button if you haven't already, and uh, I'll see you next week.